Well, good morning! <laughs> Starting off the vlog... Okay. Starting off the vlog in the car! And that is because I am in Solna. Because I am about to get my brows done. Finally! Uh, actually, yesterday uh, evening I was looking through my images on my phone for some reason and I found um last time i did my brows it's five years ago five years ago that is sick so i'm here at the parking lot i'm just about to head into uh Irene's little salon and we will uh, get my brows done so excited yay i can't wait so i'll take you through it the process a little bit and then you'll get to see the final Result in just a second. But I'm there. Thank you, Mia. Take two. Take two. Good morning again. So I am uh, in the studio now. We're two days after my micro blading of my eyebrows, and this is what they look like right now. And they are a bit shiny, and that's because I am uh, moisturizing them with stuff. But they are healing uh, super well. So um, I'm just looking forward to the scabs and <laughs> when mm. it starts to itch and all that fun stuff, but so far so good. How about you? Any scabs? <laughs> no scabs for no me, scabs. thanks. <laughs> uh, well, you can see here, yesterday I was uh, filming the last part for the Light Elegance video and oh my god, I have been working with this video for four days! Four days! And I sent it in uh, last night to Light Elegance. Mm -hmm. I have not told Tesso this. And for approval. Yeah. And they hated it. <laughs> no, they loved it. They loved it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you okay. You lie. <laughs> they thought we might need some changes. No, no. no. they hated it. <laughs> <laughs> they loved it! They Yay. loved it! They were super happy. I was super praised and they said amazing words and all that. So yeah, they were super happy with the video. So that one is actually gonna go live tonight. Yay! I need some tea, of course. And oh, scrunchie of the day. It's on my arm. I don't have a scrunchie in my hair today. Nope. But it's a mini scrunchie. They have minis also. So it's the Leah. Color, but I have it here because I might need it later. What about you? What are you up to? Uh, I'm editing the vlog. Yay! Inception. No. The vlog in the vlog in the vlog. <laughs> vloggy vloggy. And vloggy vloggy. Okay, uh, no tea? Way. Yeah. Do you want tea? Yes, yes. Please. I will go and get us some tea. Ooh. It's a tea bag kind of day so we're not gonna go with these teas but of course we have tea bags as well and it's um time for one of my all-time favorites been drinking this since i was a kid it's a good i have some tea here that i actually got in orlando no not orlando redmond oregon like four years ago and i miss <laughs> I miss them so much that I just can't use it. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to throw it away. I don't want to use it. Because it reminds me of all the people that I love in, in Redmond, Oregon. 
that's where the Light All Against family is and many more people. So yeah, I just can't seem to drink it. <laughs> A little bit stupid, but... Tea service! <laughs> Thank you. Yes. So while Tesso is listening to spa music, I need to uh, clean this up. And today we're actually gonna do some nails! Yay. Yay! How about that? So I am going to create something with this and film it so that will be the second video for this collection so now we got the collection video up and well tonight and then um uh, i need to do the tutorial video for this collection there is something very secret there's the buttercream collection yay yay but you will not see that yet you'll see that in the next video and i'll take you through kind of my thought process when it comes to um figuring out what type of design I'm going to do. So yeah, a little bit of nails today. And I think that's gonna be like the main thing to do because coming up with the design and then creating that, filming, maybe start editing if I got the time, that's gonna take a while. So we might as well start right now. Also, if you have any questions about micro blading, um, eyebrows and all um, just ask away in the comment and I will try to answer in the best way possible um, I think I'm gonna have my tea first and then I'm gonna start cleaning up Okay, so I just finished the thumbnail for the video, but I can't decide if I want to use this one or this one. This one or this one. This one? This one or this, this one. one. It's going to be super small. So it's going to be, yeah, maybe like that. This one or this one. This one or this one. Jag vet inte att det är så hjälp mig! Let me look at yes, it. Yes, 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 yes. Okej, okay. this one. Or this one. This one. Or this one. Or this one. This one. Because I love oh, this one. This picture. Ja. Oh. But I think it's gonna be too much for the eye to <gasps> see. This yeah. is like, mm. ah, en mm. collection. Ja, jag tror också det. Vi testar den här. The thing is, I've used thumbnails like this for my last collection videos and um, I think I want to try something new and see if this attracts more views maybe. Yeah, let's try it. Yes! Oi, no, no, no. No, 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 I will come back to that and clean it up. What are you doing? Just a lot of stuff. Tesso is now going to demonstrate how to say tortelloni in Swedish and in English. Tortelloni. <laughs> and that was in? Swedish. Swedish. Tortelloni. 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 Okay. And English. Tortelloni. Oh, tortelloni. Tortelloni. No, tortelloni. Tortelloni. <laughs> Tortelloni. 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 Loni. What's your Swedish? Tortelloni. Tortelloni. I'm actually having tortelloni today. Tortelloni. Tortelloni. <laughs>
Mm. Åh, oh, Gloria. Ja, oh, jag får värsta den här Glorian här. Oh. Wow. Testa. Try it yourself. Ah. <laughs> oh, Tesso is eating her damn um, gnocchi. 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 I love gnocchi. And she had it yesterday, so I had to ask my hubby to uh, make me gnocchi last night. He did. And now she has it again. But why didn't he make you enough to have as a matloda? <laughs> yeah. But this is good as well. Yes. And I actually pimped it up with some cheese because the more fat, the better it is. <laughs> yes. And now, oh, final space. A pregnant cake belly. But now, uh, final space. <laughs> Yay. So I have now prepped everything. The only thing I need to do is to maybe um, empty out a new uh, SIM card because as you can see there, got nothing in here. And so I have everything here. It's ready to rock and roll. And now I'm gonna go through my phone and see if I can find... Um, some inspiration and because this collection is the artist I am probably gonna start looking at classic paintings and we have a color in here that is actually called Monet all day so I think I'm gonna start by looking at some Monet style pictures see if I can do something with that maybe so yeah I'm gonna start doing some research and then I'll come back. And also I need something to draw on. And yep. And now if I had my nail art design book, then I would use that now. But I don't. It's on its way. But I don't have it right now. Ugh. Okay, so let's do it. So I just uh, fixed the memory card, I got my nails here, uh, we are going to change the TV, the program, because we are watching Harry Potter. Harry Potter? Which one? Uh, I stopped the... Ah, we stopped number five yes. yesterday. It's like 10 minutes left. Well, so yeah, we're gonna continue with that and then move on to number six. Yes. Yes. Let's see if it remembers. Please. Where we left off. Remember. Rem me. Remember. Put it as spelling in. Yeah, it remembers. <laughs> Remember avocado. <laughs> uh, and there we go. Some Harry Potter. Yep, Harry Potter. And here is uh, here are my notes. Uh, I'm more or less gonna wing it a little bit. This is gonna be full glitter, I think. Uh, this is gonna be like a um, pastel sky background with uh, one of those uh, electrical poles, whatever you call it. And uh, this was just uh, ignore that. Uh, this is gonna be like a meadow-ish type of design. Whoops! Now it's very loud. And uh, probably gonna continue with the lines coming over to this one. And here coming in with some kind of dandelion. Um, so very paint-ish. I want to dot 
the paint on to make it more painty and more like Monet. And this one is also gonna be like just full covered glitter. Uh, I'm probably gonna use almost like every single color, hopefully, and I'm gonna mix it together with the glitters and um, yeah, I think I'm gonna do everything matte. So let's get started. So I changed my mind. <laughs> yes. And I will not do those nails. Uh, I might do them on another set or in another set, but I have decided to do only dandelions. So it's going to be like a dandelion theme. And I'm going to use different color tones, like for each of these three. Whoops, fingers. Um, I think it's going to look good. So, yeah, let's do it. So I just finished uh, wrapping up the um, like final shoot and <laughs> I can't really decide because when I when I look at it without the camera I actually love it I think it looks really nice but I have a hard time capturing that on camera because it has so much depth in it and it looks so pretty and it's hard to get it all on camera we'll see i'll start uh editing this and then we'll see what happens this tutorial and yeah this is something that I have never really done before because this was actually supposed to be like a standalone video and this is the video that I was gonna send into light elegance for approval to have as the tutorial video for this collection however I felt like when I was done with the design I personally I love it but I felt like the end result didn't quite capture the colors as much as I wanted it to. Uh, it just didn't give the colors the justice that they deserve, if you understand what I mean. So I decided to just go ahead and add it to this vlog instead. So bonus tutorial. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, let's just go over what I'm doing. I'm going to chat a little bit and yeah. So the first thing I do is that I put just a white base on the three middle fingers and then I come in with this uh, nudish pink on the thumb and pinky, yeah. And this is just to have kind of a clean base to start out with. As you saw when I was uh, preparing my design, I was actually planning to have just like one of the nails with these... Um, dandelion designs or yeah nails but then as I started to think more I was like oh, I'm gonna do three nails with dandelions because it's gonna look amazing and it did but I think the original idea was probably better I don't know um, the funny thing is that the final uh, design that I did that's gonna go up as a standalone um, video for Light Elegance that, that is the video where I actually incorporated some of the ideas that I had to start with so I was doing like a background with a sunset um, doing some this sounds so weird like electrical pose going from one nail to another um, it's really pretty so you definitely want to check that out when it comes out and um, 
yeah, it's gonna come out fairly soon. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking my block brush and the block brush, well, this block brush is completely messed up and uh, it's on purpose. So if you wanna have a messed up block brush, it's really easy to do. You just grab lots of cleanser and then you use it with a lot of cleanser and then eventually it will go poof. And that is the reason why you should never use cleanser on the brushes that you don't want to mess up. But for this brush, I wanted to do that. So I am mixing two colors on each nail into this circular shape and leaving the center part uh, white. And then I come in with the glitters. So I have two colors on each nail and then I have a new glitter on each nail as well. And I love these glitters, they're so amazing. Oh my God, especially uh, the one here in the center with the pastel uh, chunkies, ooh, it's so good. If you have not watched um, the collection video for this collection, please go ahead and do it. It is so beautiful, I love it. So here I actually added a little bit of clear onto the nail and then I went in and buffed it. And that's just to make it a little bit more smooth as we are going to draw a lot of uh, straight, well not straight, but tiny lines on top of this nail or these nails. So that's why you want to make sure that you have a really fine and not bumpy surface. And here I'm using my straight beat brush coming in with some black gel paint and just pulling that out. And this is not supposed to look perfect or anything. And as you could see, I was using my messed up block brush in the center of the nail as well, just stabbing it on there to make it look like, you know, the center of the dandelion. And here comes the stem, yay. <laughs> so I do that on all three nails. And here, just coming in with a dotting tool and adding the little dots to the end of each little line. And I alter between like bigger dots and smaller dots. So with this dotting tool, I basically just switch between, you know, the pressure. So sometimes I press a little bit harder, sometimes I don't. And then I come in with a smaller dotting tool and then I focus on the outer perimeter of this circle, fancy, fancy. And this is just to kind of make the shape of the dandelion a little bit more visible, if you know what I mean. And here, well, Obviously, I have cured in between, very important. And here I come in with some white. You don't have to do this step, but I felt like it needed something a little bit more extra. I think the white will make it pop a little bit more and I agree with my choice. So just coming in and creating a line next to the black stem line and then doing the same technique in the center of the dandelions with my messed up block brush with a tiny little bit of white. You wanna be so careful here because um, the white will just take over the planet if you let it. So just make sure that you don't add too much. And then I come in with a couple of more white dots. Here I am using the flat mat uh, because I want to have this mat. And now you're gonna think, well, what about the glitter? I have a plan for the glitter. <laughs> so here I am just cleansing the nails. And what I'm doing here is that I actually come in with a little bit of manicure. And the reason why I don't come in with super shiny straight away and create these little water drops is that uh, super shiny is way too runny. So I come in with manicure. You can come in with manicure or one step even. And uh, after that, I put super shiny on top of each droplet after I have cured. Oh yes, I did. And that way you have uh, the glitter shining through the little drops of water. Very pretty. I love this design. I think it's so darn cute. It just didn't um, work for the Light Elegance video, but, but now you have like two videos to be inspired by with the new collection. So hopefully you liked it. And um, if you did, don't hesitate to give me some love in the comments. I do need the encouragement because, uh, you know, I love it, but it didn't work for the purpose as it was meant to be for. 
so yeah just give me and this design a little bit of love and let me know if you want to try this out i would love to see your version of this so tag me if you're trying this out and let's get back to the vlog yay Oh, so I am um, doing fun stuff now. I'm answering tons of emails. Um, I have not had the chance to look at the footage yet. I just uh, transferred it over to the computer, but um, it's probably gonna look good. I think. Hope so. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, uh, question of the vlog. Yes. Mm -hmm. What question do we have? No, okay. Yeah. Uh, Gracious Pamani asks about shipping to Africa. Mm. She's watching from Botswana. Hello. Hello. And named by Rosie. Mm. Cannot wait to have an Aussie distributor. Mm. <laughs> and then we also had D -d 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 -d. UK. Yes, yes, yes. Let me scroll down. Here. Sarah Dozer. Mm. Are we going to be able to buy your crystals in the UK? Okay, so let's answer that question. Yeah. <laughs> All those three in one answer. Yes. Uh, as you know, right now, uh, we are moving the warehouse. So we are uh, only selling to Sweden right now. Uh, but we do have our distributor in Canada and US, Creative Beauty. And then we have Monai, which is our Benelux dis distributor, but she also sends to uh, Europe. So she can help you out. When it comes to the UK, I'm working on a solution for that. Hopefully we can make it happen and you will have uh, the products there fairly soon. Uh, I also have um, a Norwegian distributor coming very soon. Uh, so uh, you'll be able to buy your crystals and armrests from her. And then we are looking for distributors in Australia, New Zealand, and Africa, definitely. So if you know someone or if you are a distributor or have the capacity to distribute our products, then send us a message at hello at moonflare.shop. Down here. Yes. I will put it down yes. here. She will put it down here. The only thing I would say is that we need someone with a web shop up and running. Of course, uh, we want it to be serious and yeah. Somebody who matches us. Yeah, but especially having a web shop up that works where people can go and order things. So we're not looking for like distributors. If you have just like a salon right now, we really need people who can distribute things online. So that's the deal, yo. <laughs> and um, yeah, I think that answered uh, your questions. Yes. Mm. Fantastic. Thank you so much for hanging out with us again. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe, like and share if you like to, but especially Hit that little notification bell, no, no, notification bell, so you know whenever we upload. But you know, every week. And now you also have a, a ton of uh, tutorials and product reviews coming up. Uh, I have, as you know, uh, well, I have five videos this month that I need to create, and I am done with one that is going up tonight. So uh, stick around and ask us questions so that we can answer them in our videos. And yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye.